Good morning and welcome. This morning we are continuing our daily video devotions with the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3. And if you remember what we read about and what we discussed last week in chapters 1 and 2, we've been introduced to this man named Samuel. In chapter 1, we learned how difficult it was for his mother Hannah to have a child. And we also learned about this just incredibly difficult decision that Hannah made once God finally blessed her with Samuel to make the choice to return Samuel to the Lord. In chapter 2, we learned about how the boy Samuel served as a minister before the Lord and how much pride that Hannah must have had to make her yearly trip to make her offering before God and to see this little boy Samuel ministering before the Lord. And here in chapter 3, a few years have passed. I'd imagine Samuel's at least a teenager, if not older than that. And we have this really interesting thing that happens to him. We're told that before he could fall asleep, that Samuel was laying before the Ark of the Lord, the Ark of the Covenant, that is. And on three separate occasions, Samuel hears someone call out his name. And each time he assumes it must be the prophet Eli from a different room calling out for him. So he goes to Eli to see what he needs. But each time Eli tells Samuel, it wasn't I who called out for you. After Samuel goes to Eli the third time, I think Eli recognizes what's probably happening. So he, said, he tells Samuel to go and lay back down before the ark of the Lord. And when someone called out for him again to answer, Yes, Lord, your servant is here. It turns out that it was God who was calling out for Samuel. And as I thought about this text for the last few days, it got me thinking that Samuel didn't realize it was God who was speaking to him those first three times and perhaps wouldn't have realized it unless Eli let him know. And I wondered about how many times in my life and in your life, God has been speaking to us, and we just didn't recognize it was God who was trying to tell us something. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never heard the audible voice of God like I assume Samuel must have heard in this story. But I do believe God tries to communicate things to me all the time. I think God does that through my daily practice of reading through God's Word. I think God communicates to me things during my time in prayer each day. I think God tries to communicate messages to me through the things that come into my life throughout the week. One of the main ways I recognize God speaking to me is that I'll have things that just pop up in conversations or things that I'll read about in news articles or something like that that are just these common themes that keep coming up. And the only way to explain how they continue to occur, how they continue to be brought before my attention, is that I just believe God must be trying to communicate something to me. So I want you to think about this morning, what do you think God has been trying to communicate to you recently? And what can you do to be more attentive to the things God is trying to tell you? And see, in the scripture, what's so interesting is that it also lets us know how important it is that we listen to God when he speaks to us. Because the message that God gives Samuel is actually a message that God wants Samuel to communicate to Eli. Because over the years, God had been telling Eli that he needed to get his sons in order. He needed to um, take charge over some of their behaviors, their sinful behaviors, because they were desecrating the Lord. And what God tells Samuel to tell Eli is that he's going to bring down a punishment on Eli's house because Eli has heard these warnings from God and really done nothing about it. So that means it's important for us when God tries to communicate something to us that we listen. That we listen by reading God's word. That we listen and not only speak when we pray, but take moments to try to hear what God might be trying to communicate back to us. And that when we have these things that just keep popping up in our mind or that are continually brought before us in different conversations or different things that we read uh, in the newspaper or online, we need to be attentive to what we believe God might be trying to communicate to us. Because God does speak to us. And it's important that we learn how to listen. I hope you have a wonderful Monday, and we'll see you on Wednesday for 1 Samuel chapter 4.